America's Sweetheart Meatloaf plays a ghoul in a motorcycle chase who says he'd do anything for love, but he won't do that. And what is that exactly? According to this video, telling a coherent story. Let's revisit Meatloaf's 1993 magnum opus, I'd do anything for love, parentheses, but I won't do that. One of the dumbest music videos. Meatloaf is on a motorcycle chased by policemen in cars and helicopters. He's wearing a cape, which is not recommended by the National Safety Council's Motorcycle Safety Division. Neither is slamming through an ornate mausoleum, but he does that too. A chandelier falls from the ceiling, landing on a cop. He loses exactly one ounce of blood and dies. Meatloaf flees through the woods as Harry Potter, if he grew up to be a cop, investigates the murder. While chewing up scenery in the forest, Meatloaf stumbles upon a beautiful woman bathing in a fountain. He just kind of hangs back and creeps on her for a while. And when she notices him, he runs away, leaving behind an insanely elaborate pendant. She grabs it and follows him back to his scary mansion, which is lit by hundreds of candles, even though it's 1993 and electricity is readily available. Maybe he forgot to pay his electric bill, just like he forgot to cut his fingernails. The woman makes herself extremely at home in the castle and decides to take a steaming hot bath with her clothes on. Who among us has never done exactly the same? Of course, Meatloaf watches hornily from the shadows. After her bath, the woman tries to take a nap, but she is rudely interrupted by three ladies who want to have an orgy. Meatloaf again watches all this from behind a chair, even though they can clearly see the top of his head from the other side. He gets really frustrated because they mostly writhe around and mime touching each other without actually taking off any clothes or making physical contact. If you'll remember, at the beginning of the video, Meatloaf was pursued by cops for unknown reasons, but at this point we can reasonably assume it was for stalking. Meatloaf is so mad that he didn't get to see any good girl-on-girl -girl action, so he decides to break every mirror in his castle. Each one is seven years bad luck, so Meatloaf is screwed for roughly the next century. Just then, the cops arrive, letting in a light draft that explodes every remaining piece of glass in the castle. This wakes the woman up from her post-orgy nap, and she runs off to find Meatloaf so they can escape together. He stalked a woman and killed a cop, and she did some breaking and entering to take a bath, so they're both wanted criminals. They meet up in his underground murder dungeon, and she finally sees his face. He looks like if they made Twilight for weird dads. But she loves him anyway, so she strokes his hair and hugs him, transforming him from a hideous monster into Meatloaf. So, you know, kind of a wash. They teleport to a motorcycle, where they ride off into the sunset, ready to sneak into someone's house and spy on them while they bathe. And this time they'll do it together. Unfortunately, we fade out before we see that happen, because it's a story best saved for another dumbest music video.